Okay, so before we power up, we'll just have a quick walk around the 3D quadcopter now. This is the Mad Cow flight control board. So I've done a couple of videos where I've actually set that up and shown how it all works. So this is now the follow on the flight. So the modes I've got on this is I've got uh, set up for um, angle mode, which is you get out of jail free card. So if you're upside down and something happens, flick the switch and it'll ride itself back up and uh, all good. I've also got horizon mode to fly around. And then the last mode is 3D horizon. So we should be able to go upside down and do a few things like that. We're gonna do line of sight. So let's run through. We've got the standard six by 45 tri-props. We've got our uh, NTM motors. These are 13, let's look at it that way. They are 1350 kV. It's on a standard $15 Hobby King 250 frame. We're running a 4S2200 battery. The ESCs are Rotor Geek 30 amp and they are flashed with BL Heli. Now, what I did with this, um, to get these reversible, which you can do in BL Heli, I've got a nase board that doesn't work with the receiver. It's just a crappy nase board that's been in too many ground shots. And what I do is I plug the ESCs into the nase board and the UBEC, so it all gets powered. Go into BL Heli, go in there, it reads all the ESCs, it tells you what they are. You can then flash them and then you can adjust all your settings in there. There's plenty of videos on how to do that, but basically they're all matched, so they all work. Okay, so what we've got in there is we've got a broken uh, flip. 32 board that's also had its day. What I've done is I've put it upside down and mounted it and I've stuck some anti-vibration goo underneath it or on top of it and I've mounted the um, little board, the mad cow board on top of that so you can see I can get access to my uh, USB and I've bought my computer out in case I do need to do some final setups with that. Now we're running the uh, we're running the D4R there in PPM mode, and you can see I think I've I've got nothing at this end of the Mad Cow board. I've only got all my uh, settings up the other end. So you've got motor. I think it goes motor one, two, three, and four. So it goes motor one, two, three, four, and then you've got your PPM, which is your receiver, and then your battery which is this guy now. None of my ESCs have the red wire connected, you can see there. When you're flying 3D, you can't use the onboard um, BEC to power your board because with this going backwards and forwards, the spikes could actually spike the board, so they recommend you disconnect those. I don't know whether you can see that in there. There you go, you can see that there see that there, Let me move that prop out the way, um, these ESCs have only got the white and the black wire, so signal on the top, power and ground underneath, so we'll stop talking and squawking and we'll give it a flight, we'll see how we go line of sight, it is fairly windy, we're only going to put this battery through and see how it goes, you can see I've got it start to get set up for FPV, I've put my little camera uh, Duvalaki in there to hold the camera and there's no transmitter on board yet so I've just nailed everything down so nothing floats around all good we'll stop talking and we'll get into it so just a little tip for you you can see my rat straps I've got it in two ways going that way and one going that way so when you do the aerobatics thing your battery stays rock solid what I have found in the past, you do aerobatics, the battery moves, it upsets the balance of everything, it throws you and then you're wondering what's going on and you're fighting it. Always, always, always make sure your batteries are dead secure and dead tight and you uh, shouldn't have any problems. It's rock and roll again. Let us plug in the four cellar. Thank you very much.
catch top dogs in the week. Out of practice with a lot of knocking in. And, uh, you know, if you hesitate, you're going to have an issue. So we're going to go there. 